by popular request. I have put up this tutorial to teach you, to show you the amazing <laughs> Spider-Man. No, wait, that's, mm -hmm, that's wrong. Uh, to show you the amazing Applied Energistics 2 mod. Uh, so very welcome here. What is this I just built? That's ugly. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna teach you about the Platinum Logistics 2 today. You're gonna learn, you're gonna watch, you're gonna like, mm -hmm. and I'll teach you. Uh, I'll show you how to set up your A2 network. I'll talk about channels, how, how does that sound, because that's a thing that scares a lot of people away. What the crap is it that I'm building? Oh my goodness. Channels is a thing that scares a lot of people away that have been playing with Applied Energistics 1. Well, I'll show you how to deal with them. Mm -hmm. They're pretty cool. Uh, I'll also show you a little bit of auto crafting as the plan. How does that sound? I think we can wrap it all in 30 minutes. But, if you really want to see more about this mod, if you really want to see it in work and what awesomeness you can do with it, then go check out my Let's Plays. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. I do daily Minecraft videos, right? Mm -hmm. We do a lot of modded, we do a lot of vanilla, we do a lot of Minecraft. And uh, <laughs> I can't really show you how awesome this mod is unless I get uh, I get the chance from you to, uh, to show you my LP. But I'll teach you the basic, I'll get you going in your world. So, welcome here, welcome, uh, welcome. Alright, let's start this. I built, I don't know why I built this, but we'll, we'll hang out here. Uh, <laughs> this block, sky stone brick. I'm, I'm a builder, I love building stuff, and this this is a fantastic looking block, I really like it. That's part of the Plata and GSX2, so kind of fits the team. Alright, enough rambling, let's set up our first very, very basic network. The first thing you need to know is what is the mod's purpose, right? If you don't know already, you probably know, but let me tell you quickly. This mod takes storage in Minecraft. You know how you run around putting things in chests and barrels and whatnot, it's craziness. <laughs> well, it takes that to the whole to a whole new level. And the the original author, Algorithm, he said to me, I asked him, don't you think you overpowered the whole storage si si situation within this beautiful Minecraft game? And he said, no, I took something that was bad and I made it better. And I kind of agree with that. Vanilla storage, you know, you don't have a ton of options. So, uh, to build your absolute first storage network, like the most basic, 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 uh, you're going to need a source of power. RF is fine if you use thermal expansion or Ender IO, that's fine. Um, AE2 actually comes with their own energy cells. Look at that. That's a creative one that have have power for me, so I don't have to set up some freaking power generation in this creative creative world. Uh, so first of all, power, and then craft yourself one of these bad boys, an ME chest. Put that to the power source, just like that. Mm -hmm. And if you right click on this bad boy, you'll see that you have a slot for something. That slot is for a storage cell. You see, Applied Energistics algorithm, he, he is kind of smart. He, he, he likes networks and computers and stuff, I guess. So instead of storing things on, on, in chests, he said, hey, let's digitalize the Minecraft items, right? <laughs> it's pretty sick. Uh, but that's what he did. So take the storage cell, put it in there. You craft one of these bad boys and now... If you look at top here, look at that. It's kind of turned on. You see that? Mm hmm. There's like a little thing there. <laughs> and a little green dot here. We'll talk about that later. If you right click here, you'll get an interface. And now, look at this. I can go ahead and store my Skystone bricks in here. And um, there are plenty of different storage cells. In fact, let's, let's take a little look here. Uh, storage. I'm, I'm in my uh, mod pack here, by the way. So I have more mods than just the plot and logistics. But you have the 1K which will store 10, 24 bytes. You have the 4K, 16K, and the 64K, the mega, mega loan of, of storage cells. Now, the bytes, here's how this works. You can see that it says it's zero of, 80, uh, zero of 63 types, right? That's the number of unique items that you can store. And if you take a closer look, you'll see that all of them have 63 different types. So, hmm. Not really impressive. The bytes, however, the bytes determine how much items 
you can store on there. And I believe here's here's what I if I remember this correctly, I think that one byte equals half. Uh, sorry, one byte equals two items. I think one item is worth half a byte. Don't quote me on that though. That may be wrong, but something along along that line. Regardless. These are the cheapest ones, these are the most expensive ones, all right? That's that's all you need to know for now. Uh, and as you can see, it works beautifully. I can, I can store stuff on this ME chest. However, if you would do this, you know, hook that up to power like that, you wouldn't really remove the whole vanilla chest here. Let me, let me have that, let me copy that. I'm such a cheater. Uh, if you would do this, you wouldn't really remove any of the vanilla storage situation. So this is really just your very, very first setup. It's pretty bad. Let's, you know what, let's break this. Let's break this and we'll build something better. Um, there is a block in Applied Logistics called the ME Drive. And this bad boy is pretty fancy. Check that out. What do you think these slots are for? Uh huh. You guessed it. If you guessed it, you if you guessed storage cells, you're right. Look at that. Mm-hmm. I can put 10 of these storage cells in here now. Uh, however, there doesn't seem to be any interface, no freaking terminal for me to access it. Uh, so what you need to do is to hook up a cable, ME cable, one of these bad boys, boop, like that. And then you need either a crafting terminal, like I have here, or just a regular ME terminal. And you plop that on there, boom. And now, check this out, right click, uh huh. See all my Skystone stuff is in there. That's pretty cool, and it's actually stored on like this little computer data server storage thing. It's it's pretty awesome. The 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 things you can build with this if you like computers like I do. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sick. <laughs> uh, so that is your very very basic ME applied energetic system. All right. So that here, here's the thing we need to clear. I see so many Minecraft videos where this isn't clear. The <laughs> the mod is called applied energetics. And the network is called ME, all right? So it's an ME system, the mod is applied energistics. Right, now once you have this, it's gonna be pretty quick. And then you're gonna have this thing filled. Mm -hmm. You're gonna store all your stuff here. You have a little search bar up here. It's, it's pretty beautiful, but it's gonna fill up pretty quickly. So you will want to connect more of these awesome drives. And that's when we get into channels. Here's where people get scared. People that play, played around with the Plata Logistics 1, they know how easy it was back then. And many of my friends, at least, they're like, ugh, the Plata Logistics 2 friggin' channels. But it's actually pretty fun. You know, it, 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 it forces you to be creative. The first thing you're gonna need when you get to the stage where this just isn't enough anymore and you want to expand your network is an ME controller. Now this is a block that also works as a multi-block. So if I place down a few of these, you can see that they kind of connect up. You see the difference there? Mm -hmm. Looking pretty sick. I like this very much. Um, now what you can do is, I usually, you know, these are pretty expensive. Let's let's have a look at the recipe. Uh, I haven't talked about any items in this mod pack by, or in this uh, mod, by the way, because uh, uh, you, you'll kind of find that out. But what I usually want is eight of these right from the beginning. And you need to power them. So you see, you saw what I did there. Actually, you know, let's put, let's take this thing away. <laughs> uh, I have the energy cell in the middle and then I have these around. Now, each side of these blocks, each side can transmit 32 channels. But hey, what the crap is a channel, you're asking? You're like, I hear this channel stuff, but I don't understand it. Well, a channel is basically any Applied Energistics 2 block that takes data, that takes anything else than just power, all right? So, for example, this ME drive, that's a channel. If I would connect it up like that, I'm now using a channel. If I would connect up a ME chest, I'm now using two channels on this little cable here. And each side of the ME controller can hold and can provide 32 different channels. Which means that after a while, you wanna connect up a bunch of different things. Maybe you want a room over here or on this side that has a ME crafting terminal that accesses this. Oops, I just flipped that around. 
uh, that accesses uh, this ME drive. Check this out. Mm -hmm. See what I just did there? It's over here, but I'm still accessing this stuff. Um, <clears throat> and eventually, you, you want a crap ton of stuff. So that's why you need the ME controller. It will provide you with more channels. Um, there are many, many ways and tricks and stuff how you can work to get more channels and to be efficient with channels. And that's why, here, let's break this ugly thing. I keep, keep bumping into it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I built it. It's like a little terrace thing here. I, I don't know. It's crazy. Um, anyway, where, where were we? Where were we? Channels, yeah. So, um... This is why I like the whole channels edition. It really, really forces you to be creative with how you build your applied logistics network. Now, let me show you. Uh, there are a few different cables in applied logistics. You have the one that I've been using, the normal standard glass cable that was also in applied logistics one. Then you have something called a smart cable. And you're starting to think like, what the crap? Is he clever or what's going on? <laughs> you know, uh, and then you have your covered cable and your dense cable, also known as the fat cable. Check this guy out. This is pretty sick. Place one of these bad boys down. Boom. Look at that. Now what this channel, uh, what this cable does, if you look at Wayla, the little box up here, you can see that it says zero out of 32 channels. If I would use a smart cable, let's remove this guy here. Mm -hmm. You know that if I if I would use a smart cable, you can see that it says zero of a channels. All right, so this little guy and the normal small cables and also the covered ones, these that I think look very pretty here, uh, they can only hold eight channels, while this fat cable that looks absolutely epic, mm -hmm, that can hold thirty-two channels. So let's worry about the fat cable in a second. The smart cable, the difference between the smart cable and the covered and glass cable is just that you're able to see the amount of channels. Now, if I would go ahead and put down, let's let's move this out. I, I really shouldn't have made this ugly, stupid house here. <laughs> it's terrible. If I would go ahead and connect up, say, three blocks from Applied Logistics that all take more than just power, we can go ahead and see that this cable is now having three blue lines on it. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. The more you connect, the more blue lines or purplish lines there will be. Check this out. Let's do boop, 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 boop. And that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it will be full. Look at that. And I just got an achievement, Network Apprentice. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm rolling. I didn't know that achievement existed. Uh, but now the cable, the cable is full. Should I... If I would connect up something else over here, the, this one won't be working because it's not having any channels left. Um, I can't... Oh yeah, I can demo that. Wait, where did I... Here we go. Let's put you in there. If we take a look over... Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, I just broke this thing. Put up one of these crafting terminals. Boop. We take a look in there now, and <clears throat> disconnect that. Nothing's in there, right? If I take the same storage cell, and I'll put it in either one of these, say that. Uh -huh. That's because we don't have any channels for this, this poor guy over here. We're using all of them. Should we have used this fat cable, though? We could have connected 32 of these chests, or 32 of the storage drives that we talked about earlier these guys, right? So that is basically a, a very quick and dirty explanation of what channels is. Now I want to show you how, just how you can be creative around this. Let me, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut, I'm going to set up a kind of fancy ME network here and I'll show you how you can work around uh, the, the cable or the, sorry, the channel situation, all right? I'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. So, you've got your setup. You're super happy. Mm -hmm. You've made like the prettiest, ama most amazing looking server room with this amazing kind of futuristic mod. Right? And you take a look at it and you're like, oh my goodness. I created this, you know? Uh, and then you start to see what the cr what's going on here. We're, we're missing out. These aren't active. 
these monitors aren't active and then you look at your cables and you see oh crap i'm out of channels mm, dang it uh, so obviously the first thing you can do if you if you watch this tutorial you know that okay uh this this cable only carries eight channels which means one two three four five the green is is when they're on one two three four five six seven eight mm -hmm. if i would disconnect this the channels would go over here and we got eight of them lit up over here so the first thing you can do and the first thing that probably comes to mind i have in total 24 different units here right i have uh <laughs> math 18 me drives and six storage monitors these storage monitors by the way they are absolutely awesome if you've seen my lps you know what we can do with them they're they're pretty 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 so the first thing you'd probably want to do is to connect up your fat cable instead boop boop mm -hmm. and give it a second boom everything's on and now my storage monitors is work are working if I would grab something that I have in my system, for example, Skystone brick, I can display how many Skystone bricks is in my network. Let's see if that's okay, uh, if that's correct. 34,000. Yeah, very, very correct. I have a pretty bad storage situation. I have a crap ton of Skystone brick and a lot of creative cells, but I don't really have anything useful, you know? Uh, <laughs> so. That's one solution, and as you can see here, I didn't really show you this, but the blocks of Applied Logistics will transfer the channels on their own. You don't need cables in between the ME drives. As long as that's a, as long as it's a block form, I can't speak no more. As long as it's a block form, they will transfer the channels. So, pretty important. Well, that's your first solution. Now, imagine that your ME controller is in the middle of your base, and this whole setup is miles away this fat cable take a look at the recipe it's pretty dang expensive you need four covered cables a piece of redstone and a glowstone dust the covered cables needs a glass cable and a and a wool and the glass cables needs that stuff mm -hmm. i'm not going to go into fluix crystals and the ba very very basics of the mod you'll figure that out i trust you in you i trust you're a clever guy Long story short, the smart cable or the dense cables, they are really, really expensive. So, here's where we get to play with something super, super cool called the P2P tunnels. Now, let's break this again. Trust me, that's fine. Let's do that. Let's come down here. Let's break you as well. Let's connect up let's, uh, our back or let's put back our 8-channel cable. Let's put it like that, okay? Actually, let's put it like that. Yeah, that's good. Now imagine that this is, uh, say, 150 blocks long. There are no limitations on how, how far cables can travel, I don't think. Not that I've found out anyway. Uh, but imagine that that is 150 cables long. You don't want to be spending so much dense cable resources on that, probably. Because you don't have to. You can use P2P tunnels. Now check this out. A P2P tunnel, what you do... Connect up one of these bad boys on the side of the ME controller. Now, go ahead and connect that up to the network. Um, say up here, remember this side holds 32 channels, right? So connect that up to your P2P tunnel. Boom. We'll see, it takes up one channel. You can see the blue line there. The P2P tunnel is now on. Now go ahead and grab yourself a memory card crafted like so. Shift right click on your P2P tunnel, boom, it will say successfully saved settings. Mm -hmm. Go back to, you, to the end of your long 150 line cable, put down another P2P tunnel, just like that. Oh, that looks so cool. Uh, and now, instead of shift right clicking, just right click, boom, loaded. What you just have done, my good friend, is that you have linked this side of your ME controller up to that P2P gate. So you kind of created a bridge here and all that took was one channel on the P2P tunnel that's connected to the to the ME network, uh, sorry, ME controller and one channel, look at that, one channel on the cable uh, that goes 150 blocks and five blocks here. <laughs> um, why? Well, because you've only just connected one piece of equipment and now check this out. 
Now let's put some fat cable in here. Uh huh. Look at the cable down there. Let's break this glass. Still just taking one channel, but everything is online. Isn't that pretty? That's pretty clever, right? So if you're, if you're smart with this, you can really, really maximize the amount of channels you can get out of the ME controller. And trust me, it's not hard. No, you, you'll be able to do it. Don't you worry. Um, it's not hard at all. And it's really, really good usage or, or it's a really good thing to use the PDP tunnels. Um, so that's pretty cool. We have everything linked up here now. We have our fancy thing here. Now, that's what I'm going to show you about the channels. The P2P tunnels are awesome. By the way, you can only use this P2P tunnel to one connection. So if you would want to have a secondary connection coming around here, what you want to do then is take another P2P tunnel, hook it up to another side, boom. Make sure you connect it up somewhere to the controller. Remember, on this cable here, we still have seven channels, so that's fine. That's beautiful. If you take a look, two channels are now used. And come over here. Boom. Go back. Shift right click on this guy now. When you get a lot of these, and those of you who watch my Let's Play know, know the mess. So create signs. Put a sign on these so that you remember. Uh, save the setting. Shift right clicking on the PDP tunnel. And then just right click over here. And boom. 32 fresh new channels coming out of that bad boy. <laughs> what you can't do, by the way, I see confusion around this. You cannot do this. Nope. You will not be able to connect 32 uh, things to this cable. Even though Wayla says zero of 32 channels, you have to remember that this cable here, this poor guy will be your bottleneck. So that's not a thing. All right. Now, let's look at auto crafting. Auto crafting is, once you have a long term world, it's really something you want. If, you, if you're if you a fan of modded, I mean, there are vanilla freaks that will be like, nope, stop it. I'll craft my own stuff in the crafting table. But Applied Energistics can help you with this. And it's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. If you were a fan of, of Applied Energistics 1, um, you know how simple it was. They made it a little bit tougher, a little bit more, you know, you have to think a little bit more. But it's fine. It's really, really not that bad. So bear with me. Uh, Let's let's set up something simple to start off with, okay? The first thing you're gonna need to auto craft is one of these bad boys, and they look absolutely amazing. I love them. Look at them. Got some blinking nice lights here. Uh, they're called a mo molecular assembler Mac, right? Uh, now, if you right-click one of these, you can see I've kind of hooked them up so that they have channels. Um, they don't actually take channels though. But they need power. So if you right click one of these, you can see the interface looks like this. And the first thing you'd probably do is try to put stuff here and it doesn't work. And you're like, what the crap? <laughs> uh, but then you look at a few more things that you can see here. And we have a slot for something here. It looks like a storage cell. And then we have an output slot here. We have some things over here. So let's talk about what this is. You are going to need, uh, in, in, in addition to, to your molecular assembler, you're going to need... Uh, something called an ME pattern terminal and you hook it up just like your crafting terminal or your regular terminal to a cable I've hooked it up to a white cable gives me a nice white feel um, and that's another thing you can color these things you can see I kind of love I love using the blue one here but uh, anyway enough of that so <laughs> build yourself a pattern terminal right click this bad boy and in here you can see that we have blank patterns um, a slope for blank patterns up here they look kind of like here, let me, let me show you. They look like storage cells, but they are different. They don't contain anything. They can't store anything. They are simply uh, an instruction for applied logistics for how to make stuff. Now, what I've done here is that I put two oak planks next to each other because that's how you make sticks. Let's, let's go ahead and clear this out. If you would, for example, put four of these like that, now that's how you make a crafting table. Put one, that's how you make a button, etc., etc. Right, so you tell the system how to craft things, and you gotta remember one thing: applied logistics is is like a computer. It's not smart. You're smarter than it. It will do whatever you tell it to do. Okay. It knows the Minecraft recipes, though, so 
Let's 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 tell it to make a chest. Why not? We don't need chests no more when we have applied logistics, but let's let's tell it to do that. So what you want to do is put put the crafting recipe in and then click this little encode pattern arrow and boom, look at that. It just made you a pattern for a chest. Let's put let's put my already made pattern away there. It it created a pattern for you for how to create a, ch a chest. Now if you go back to your molecular assembly, you can kind of see, oh wait, that may match. And yep. Boom. So now, can we put stuff in? No. Mm -mm. You have to feed those things in through a hopper or a import bus or some some method. You can't just put it there. So if I would go ahead and put 64 wood planks here, look at this. Boom. It made us a chest. How cool isn't that? And it actually pushes it back to the hopper. That's not how it works. That's not how a hopper works. Applied Logistics just said that that's how a hopper works. Okay, so once you have this set up, you're like, ooh, what else can I do? Because this is, you know, this is pretty bad. <laughs> You'd need a crap ton of molecular assemblers, right? Well, easy. This isn't the way you're gonna do it. This is just to demo how the molecular assembly works. Now let's break this vanilla hopper. We don't want no vanilla hopper in our modern world. <laughs> uh, instead what you want is something called an ME interface, okay? Place that on any side of this molecular assembly. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on the top. And now check what happened. My dense cable is now taking one channel. That's because this interface requires a channel. What is this interface you may ask? Well. It's an interface to your system. If I would go ahead and put my agon block, for example, in this slot, it will go back into the system. Look at that. So it's 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 a way to input items into the system. But more importantly for us right now is that it holds a crap ton. I think it's what is this? A four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine slots for the patterns. And did I just break the pattern I made? Probably. Let's make another one. Boom. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is place your patterns in here, and all of a sudden, check this out. Let's make another pattern. Let's make, uh, what do we want to do here? Let's do a stick. My mouse is, I don't know what's wrong with it, but it's kind of, uh, <laughs> it doesn't behave. Uh, let's put that in there, and now, look at that. We have two different instructions for this molecular assembler. If we now would put a hopper here, and put two pieces of wood... Ah, it tried to make a chest. I, I actually didn't know. Oh, wait. Let's remove that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now let's try. Boop, boop. Will it make a stick? Nah, it's just like, it's, it's thinking like, uh, I don't know what you're talking about because the recipes are up here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, <laughs> sometimes you just want to check out some things that you kind of figure out uh, or, or think of while doing these things. Anyway, you got your patterns in here. You have your molecular assembler there. Now... The next thing you want is something called an ME interface terminal. If you right click it, connect it to your network and right click, you can access your interface from anywhere where you have this terminal. So check that out. Molecular assembler, chest and stick. That's what we put in there. Mm -hmm. And now, oh, oops, if you go into your crafting terminal, look at that. The system actually knows how to create a chest and a stick. So let's try it out. Let's create one chest. It will tell you that I will need eight oak planks and that's available in your system. So I should be good to go. Mm -hmm. No crafting CPUs are available. And you're like, oh my goodness. You need, you need a CPU to process a freaking chest. <laughs> um, and yeah, that's one of the new things in, in Applied Energistics 2. You need... A crafting CPU. Well, you actually needed that in, in Applied Energistics 1 as well, but uh, it was kind of built in into the molecular assembler. You kind of put it together with a multi-block. Well, here you need to connect it up separately. You can put this block anywhere on your network. And just like the storage cells, there are different tiers. You have your 1K, 4K, 16K and 64K. The difference is the number of bytes it can process per crafting operation. Okay? And one processor, one block, have one core. These are also multi-blocks. So now I have a 2K, um, a 2K CPU. Now I have two 2K CPUs. And now I have one 6K CPU. Does that make sense? And again, you guessed it. These bad boys do take up one channel. 
So I'm gonna leave it at that. That's my two CPUs. Actually, you know what? I don't wanna have it like this because that's prettier. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. The the texture job in this in this mod, the the graphics, love them. They're beautiful. Thumbs up for loving the textures in the Plata and Justice 2. All right. So now, will it will it let us craft a chest? Look at that. It will say crafting CPU automatic. We could also select zero or one because we have two different. But we'll leave it at automatic and try this out. Boom. Look at that. It just created a chest. So in essence, you can put a lot of different recipes uh, in, in your molecular assemblers. You could also go ahead and connect another interface over there and do patterns over here. And boom, you have all of a sudden 18 slots for one molecular assembler. However, it can only do one operation at a time. You can speed it up by installing upgrades called acceleration cards. They go over here. And now it will craft one chest super quick. I don't think we'll ever, we'll even be able to see it. Are you ready? Boom. See that? It's <laughs> like, dick. Super, super quick. All right, so that is the molecular assembler. That's how you do auto crafting. It's pretty straightforward, really. Um, it, it's not bad, you know. Once you have your network set up, your your normal system, it's pretty easy to to add auto crafting into that. All right. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is auto smelting, auto processing with other shapes than just you know the crafting table because applied logistics can handle it. <laughs> all right, so. Let's take a look at, first of all, a redstone furnace. This is from uh, Thermal Expansion. Uh, there's, there's a hole right there. I'm going to... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Take that, stupid hole. Uh, this is a redstone furnace from Thermal Expansion. Uh, Thermal Expansion is just another tech mod. Basically, it's an electrical furnace. Okay, it will smell things up. Uh, and as you can see, I've kind of set this up similar. So I have an interface... And then I have a redstone furnace on top. And if you paid attention earlier, you kind of saw that we had an alloy smelter and a redstone furnace here. This is the alloy smelter. Um, and what, what you can do, you guessed it, you can now tell it an instruction, put the pattern in here, and make this furnace process that instruction. So let's go back to our pattern terminal. Clear that. Now let's tell it, let's tell my system, actually, I don't have anything to smelt. Uh, let's grab some cobble. Why not? Cobble, and then let's grab some regular stone. Mm-hmm. Because cobble makes stone. That's perfectly natural. <laughs> uh, all right. So, let's tell it how to make one piece of smooth stone. Uh, we all know that if you take a piece of cobblestone and put it in a furnace, it will become a piece of smooth stone. So, the only thing we need to do is to tell Applied and Logistics that. Because, again, it will do exactly what we tell it to do. Right? You remember. So, uh, over here, in your pattern terminal, to the right, you have something called crafting pattern. It's a, like a little button here. Press it, and you switched it over to processing pattern. Now, it's a picture of a furnace, but this goes for everything you want to process. As long as it's not a crafting recipe, it's a processing pattern. Very important. Change from Applied Energies is one as well. Now, go ahead, put your cobblestone anywhere in here, and then we're simply going to tell it that that equals to one smooth stone. See how we just did that? We told it what it equaled. Okay? Print that pro processing, uh, pin, print that pattern and put it in here. Now, can I go ahead? Here's a question. Do you think I can go ahead and order this stone? Well, we'll, we'll see. That looks fine. Boom. Let's go. Look at that. It's smelting up the stone and then it's stuck here. Uh, <laughs> the next thing we need to do is to tell. Thermal exp that was planned, by the way. May sound that I like it wasn't planned, but it was planned. Uh, so we need to tell uh, tell thermal expansion that this this piece of stone should go back into the system. So a little bit of thermal expansion knowledge here. We change that to output orange, and as you can see, I have the input at the bottom where the interface is. Now let's go ahead and hook up something called an import bus because we want to import it back to our ME network. Put that there. And then connect it up with a cable down to this interface. Boop. And now it's gone. Magically gone. And it's in our system. Look at that. That's our stone piece. Uh, so one very, very important thing to remember here was that I actually used this Emmy interface block instead of a cable here. So as I said uh, with the channels, every solid block in this mod 
will transfer over the channels. I'm not sure if that's entirely true, actually, because like the energy cells and stuff doesn't do that. But yeah. Hmm. Uh, now, let me show you a beautiful thing in case you have NRIO in your pack. NRIO Alloy Smelter, which is basically just like a redstone furnace, but from another mod. This have something even nicer. Configure IO. If you go down to the bottom, you can kind of double click here or triple click and you'll have push and pull. That's all you have to do with that. So now let's take this recipe here. Let's put it in here instead. You're much better alloy smelter. I like you much more. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Now let's try it out. One piece of stone. Boom. Should go in here. Mm -hmm. And let's cook in. And boom. And Ryo automatically pushes it back to the interface and back into our ME system. Uh, so this setup here uses one more channel than this setup. And that's why channels is kind of awesome because it forces you to be creative with stuff. <laughs> of course, you could have used uh, a cable here, a conduit, and just pushed it into the ME interface because any item that will go in here goes back into your applied logistics. So you can actually remove the need of a channel here, but that's how you do it with applied logistics. Anyway, guys, there's a lot more to talk about with this mod. There are so much possibilities for you. You can be so creative. You can create such nice stuff. Uh, but uh, as I said earlier, if you really, really want to get into this mod, make sure you check out my LP. It's a long gone single player LP that uploads a few times a week. Um, or my other LPs where I use Applied Logistics. It's an amazing mod. And once you check that out, you'll see what you can really do with this mod. I hope that I taught you the three things that have bothered people. How to set up your basic network, how does channels work, and how does auto crafting work. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button down below. And as I said earlier, if you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Don't miss out. There are daily Minecraft videos here. I think you like them. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching guys. Have a fantastic day. Bye bye.